Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Jurassic Park Builder and today we're going to be going over another animal in the glacier park of the game. We are going to be looking at the last uh, animal in the initial release. I mean, I'm sure that in the future that there will be more animals, but this is the fifth animal and it's called the Uintatherium. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, that's what it says on a website anyways. so. Sometimes I'm wondering why, uh, I guess, the dinosaur names are so difficult, or maybe they, they, I guess they have like a Saurus kind of thing always. Um, it's kind of strange. I mean, each and every dinosaur you hear like Tyrannosaurus. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to say the rest because I don't remember them. But anyways, so that, that's kind of strange. But anyways, so we're going to be looking at this creature today and this well, this animal, and this animal is actually, uh, wow. It looks like a kind of rhino thing, a rhino kind of dinosaur, or a rhino animal, in a way. And as you can see, its head, there's like two things coming out of its head. It has really, uh, two teeth that are pulling out, I think, in its adult form. That's what we saw in the pop-up screen. But if we look at it here, uh, just look at, just looking at, the animal here in its baby form, this is level 1, he doesn't have that teeth. I mean, it, he might have four horns. Okay, so I think that is something on its... Is that is that bone coming out of his nose or something? But, you know, it, it it's just something we've never seen before. So I think it's unique and it's in its gray color. And this is... A mammal kind of creature um, looking up the information online actually it says it's a herbivore and not just that it is a rhino type mammal so I guess I was right in my initial assumption that it's a rhino or something but let's look at it in its adult form as you can see that his horn has really grown bigger and I guess he got another pair of horn coming out of his, I don't know, a portion of his nose. And he has that two teeth coming out of his mouth now. So, he looks pretty, I wouldn't say he looks fierce. I mean, he doesn't look mean. But definitely if he's that big, if he's really big, uh, apparently it says that it was 13 feet long. And weighed about two tons. So... I don't know if I would be wanting to pet it if it was real. But anyways. So it's in this gray form. Okay so in its second form it says that um, it has a small brain compared to its body. So that that is quite strange. I guess it has a small brain. Now we're going to open it here and... As you can see that it has stripes and stuff on it now. Um, it looks pretty much the same. It still eats crop. So you have to get it from the crop harbor. And it has stripes. Well, I'm not sure if that, that is stripes. It's quite thick. But I guess that's the best thing we can call it. And there's a patch on its, um, I guess on its body. Now it looks still, it looks pretty much the same. It's just that it has stripes. You want to look at its feet. The stripe goes directly down there um, onto its tail too. So that is definitely something you want to check out. I don't know if you want to. I guess it's up to. It's your choice if you want to level the creature up or not because um, you get more coins, but it also costs a lot, and the evolution might take some time. Now, if you're if you're looking specifically for anything to, uh, I guess, to obtain a certain form, I, I'm not sure if you would. But if you are, I guess, you should check out every creature's form before you actually make a decision on which prehistoric creature you want to evolve. If you have limited supply. So we are back here with the evolution screen as you can see that um, this creature has a small brain which means that it wasn't really intelligent so even with its 
I guess, big body that it wouldn't attack anyone. Well, I'm not really sure about that. I'm just assuming that. But being not too intelligent, I assume that all they do is eat. <laughs> yeah. But it's not bad because if they eat, all they eat is, uh, because these guys were herbivores, apparently. Apparently. I'm not really sure. Um, the direct experience. I mean, that's what scientist says, and that's what I have to believe. So, they would eat plants, which is not a bad thing. And as you can see, that it's in its third evolution now, and it has a really darker reddish gray. Opposed to the previous one, and basically, I think they just tint, changed the tint of the color. There's still spots, they're not, I can't say that there, there's much. I can't say that there's much changes. I mean, it looks pretty much the same. You still have the same tint, same color, you know, same horns, same teeth, same tail. So this is the third evolution and we're going to be looking at the final evolution, evolution four. So we are here with evolution four screen. It says Basically, it has three pairs of horns on its uh, head. <laughs> That's basically it. I mean, I wish they kind of put more effort into explaining their uh, animals. But I guess that's about it for the, the animal. But as we can see, the colors for this one, the fourth evolution, which is basically the last evolution, at this current moment I'm, I'm not sure if they might increase the evolution in the future but it's just I don't know they just outlined it with a color a yellow color and as you can see it's back wow th this 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 kind of a creature moved really in a fun way funny way I'd say if you saw it walking a bit but everything else is just the same so that is pretty much it for this animal in the game now, I still think I said I was going to review to see if the Animal 4 was better, or the Sabretooth Looking Tiger um, Animal, or this one. I still think the, the other one was better, number 4. Um, I don't re recall what exactly the name was, but it, everyone was saying it was a Sabretooth Tiger one. But I, I still think that animal is cooler than this one. Although that one isn't... That one is like... Uh, a meat eater so it's not something I want to go near although it's they're, they're cool and all but yeah but anyways that is about it for the animals on the glacier park for Jurassic Park Builder we will update as they update um, I guess as the developers updates the game and add more cool and unique glacier park animals in the game now if you want to see a certain animal um, I guess you should definitely make your comments so, you know, maybe they'll see it and then they'll like it and then they'll say, alright, we'll bring this animal into the game. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.